Now, here in the UK, King Charles has thanked everyone who sent him messages of support since his cancer diagnosis. In a statement, he said the kind words were a great comfort. The king has withdrawn from public duties to undergo regular treatment for the unspecified cancer. Our royal correspondent, Johnny Diamond, reports. Six days after the revelation of cancer and the start of treatment, a message from the king beginning with thanks. Heartfelt thanks, he wrote, for the many messages of support and good wishes I have received in recent days. The king is normally the one demanding more public engagements, more meetings, more time to talk. But now this public work has ended and the king is, like many of his age, a cancer patient. All of those, he wrote, who have been affected by cancer will know such kind thoughts are a great comfort and encouragement. By the usual royal standards, the palace has been pretty open about the king's health. In his message, the king wrote how heartened he is that sharing his diagnosis had helped promote public understanding. My lifelong admiration, he wrote, for their tireless care is greater as a result of my own personal experience. A more open palace and a more open king as monarch and man face a threat so many have seen and understand through friends and relatives. Johnny Diamond, BBC News. Well, we can speak live now to our correspondent, Louisa Pilbeam, who is in Sandringham, where the King is staying at the moment. So, Louisa, it was a very personal statement from the King. How unexpected was it for him to make such another public statement soon after his cancer diagnosis? Well, good morning, Catherine. Well, I think it was actually not unexpected because it's consistent with how the king has dealt with his diagnosis first of the enlarged prostate when he said that he wanted to be public and speak about it to increase the public recognition of an enlarged prostate condition and then now now that he's had the shock diagnosis of his cancer he has wanted to help people he says and that's what he said in this statement you've been hearing that he referenced the NHS and the medics, the nurses, the doctors and the good work that they do and he has said that it has been heartwarming to gain the support of the public and also he's spoken about before the fact that he has wanted to increase visibility of these kinds of conditions. So I think in that sense what it is rare for a senior royal, let alone the king, to speak about his health, it is becoming a passion that the king has wanted to speak about it in order to help other people, he says.